Handball, a sport rooted deep in history. A game of speed and precision, power and dexterity. The world's best have gathered in Salt Lake City. This is the Players' Championship on ESPN. Welcome back to Salt Lake City, Utah for the WPH Players' Championship. My name is Dave Vincent at the Sports Mall where Chris Watkins will be going up against Tom Sher Sheridan in this 40 men's senior division right here on the show court where fans have gathered to watch these two 40-year-old titans on the Pro Tour go up against each other as they just flip the coin with Mondo Ortiz, their referee. Chris Watkins has battled for years against the top Irish players in his age division, and including Tom Sheridan's doubles partner as of late, Duxie Walsh, and of course, Chris Watkins have that historic battle, and now we're gonna see it live here as these two battle it out in the quarterfinals. That's the announcement from our referee. <laughs> Referee Mondo Ortiz. To 25, 15 break. Zero, serves zero. A lefty from County Meath gets that first serve. Tom Sheridan wearing the green shirt here on ESPN Second and the serve. Watch ESPN app. And we welcome you to another great day of handball in Utah. Point. And there's the first point. It's a one game match to 25, win by two. One, serve zero. Short ball. Tom, watch that left foot. Referee taking Second over here. Serve. Side out. Zero, serves one. Point. And this is Really the strong point of Chris Watkins' game is that serve down the right. And of course, Tom Sheridan being a lefty, he's gonna have a little bit more trouble over there. Nonetheless, sets up Chris. And you're gonna see this first strike from Chris as we welcome in Kara Mack into the booth, Kara. Hey, Dave. You know, Chris has this great serve down the right wall and Tom Sheridan's a lefty, so it's to his offhand. So Sean, Sheridan's going to have to flip it back up, and Chris is just going to wait for it and try to pounce on that first ball Thank that he sees. Sir. We call it a first strike. You know, even though they're 40, when they played on the Pro Tour, it was just as competitive, and it's Point. interesting to watch these guys go up against each other here at a later age. We're familiar seeing it, you know, in their 20s. And the mm -hmm. guys that we're watching now on the tour, like the D Cordovas and the, you know, the Celestos, they, they will be the guys we talk about when they're 40. Exactly. There's, there's much more history than just watching this one match. And there's some that play in both tournaments. Yeah. Like Tom Sheridan made it into the top 16 with the young guys, and now here he is in the 40s. Point. How do you think that changes for him playing those young guys versus playing the ones Four, more around his age now? One. Well, I think back home he's still playing the young guys, so it's not much of a change, but you Side know when out. a baseball player gets up to bat and they put a, a donut at the end of their bat or they swing two mm -hmm. or three and it makes the bat feel lighter when they get they shed those baseball bats. Well, that's kind of what it's like one. when you're Sheridan playing Plays against one of the four. older dudes. Right. You, you're not seeing that 100 mile per hour shot. Feels a lot lighter. I think if you have kids too and you put them in the sport, you know, you're not gonna retire from it until they're doing well. So they're taking you over. Strange backhanded flip there from Watkins from Spring Valley Lake, California, near Hesperia. Point. That's a cool little underhand punch fist mm -hmm. from Tom Sheridan. And let's take a look at this replay here brought to you by Mesh Clark and Rothschild, underhand Two, Punch four. fist. Chris just staring Good at ball. that shot. Your left foot, it's over, it's 
crossing that line. So Mondo Ortiz is saying that it's a foot fault, not with the front leading foot, but the back foot. Second serve. My opinion is that's a completely ridiculous call, but you have to do it because it's part of the rules. Point. Look at that perfect serve. Feathers the back wall. You'll never see anything better than that. Chris comes out to play a ball that's seemingly going to come Three, out about 10 four. feet. It slides the back wall instead. That was a crack serve. Point. Yeah, with these old guys, Carrie, you're going to see some of the best shots you've ever seen in your life, and then you're going to see mobility issues. Exactly. <laughs> that's why you need those great shots, because if you can put it away, you put it away. You learn some things along four, the way. Plays four. This is a one game to 25. You know, they say the first thing that goes when you get old is that your, your vision isn't as good as it used to be. And that glass on the sidewall is. Six plays four. From this angle, it doesn't look bad. No. But when you're in there, you see things completely. You see that shadow of Tom, Tom serving. And here you have it in two different. You know, you don't just have it on the back wall. It's on that sidewall, too. So. so when it wraps around both, you Second get serve. this sort of weird black hole feel. And they say the other thing that goes is balance. So when you are set off by your sight a little bit and then going after something. Side out. Sheridan comes back after Watkins started this match off with a nice little run. Sheridan now. Four plays five. Is up four to five. It says six on the scoreboard, but. That's just because of fat fingers. You know, when you're, <laughs> it's early. It's early. You got Starbucks and <laughs> you got Starbucks on your fingers and. It's sticky. Well, I mean, the type of drinks that I order from <laughs> Starbucks are sticky. I don't know about Chris back in the van. Point. Chris isn't the type to get the foo foo stuff. No. Like big old DV does. I mean, that's the whole. It's like a dessert for it breakfast. Is like a dessert. Five all. And it costs them more than one. How come, you <laughs> <laughs> How come you're salivating, Kara? <laughs> right? Because I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. And I like the, the foo-foo ones. <laughs> this is a game of let's see how many walls we can hit. And Watkins closes it out. Point. You're watching the Players' Championship. Salt Lake City, Utah. Dave Vincent alongside Kara Mack with ESPN and the Watch ESPN app. This is the 40-year-old qualifiers. And this right here, this matchup would be a World Championship matchup finals or a national final level in a quarterfinal right match. And Kara, to, to tell you how you know big this is, Chris Watkins played in the finals of the 40 division at the World Championships against Tom's doubles partner, Duxy Walsh. And so now they're facing each Five, other. Tom, certainly one of the greatest players of all time in Ireland. No slouch there. So this is definitely something you'd see on a national level. And this is a national Side level type out. match because this is the Players' Championship. But it's a quarterfinal. That's the, that's the indifference. Here's that replay brought to you by RNA CPAs. Watkins going six plays five to the front wall. Clips the sidewall, rolls out. Short ball. Kara, it's a, it's a game of, you know, positioning Second yourself. Serve. You see how the footwork is. I'm going to pin my opponent behind me and then go for a wall to make that ball slow down so they can't get up there in time. And, you know, hitting it low helps too. So what do you see these guys do to posi position themselves and get in that front spot? Well, you, you he who's Point. in the front wins. So you see Sheridan in that rally was purposely trying to step in front of Chris while Chris was shooting the ball, not to be in his way, but to gain the position, giving Chris less opportunities to do anything with that ball. Now see, Chris is in the front court. Sheridan's trying to get him out, pushing him back. Chris wearing the red shirt, Sheridan wearing the Side green. Out. But you see, Sheridan's mm -hmm. objective was, I'm going to get you out of the front court. I'm going to push you to the back wall. And once I do that, I'm now automatically in front of you, and I have more opportunities. And so that whole rally Five, was based on what Sheridan seven. was trying to do to Chris, and he, he put the pressure on and said, I want you back, I want you back, I want you back, and I got you back, and I win. And now, see, Sheridan's in the control here. Point. Again, mm -hmm. Sheridan's in the front court. He pushes Watkins up close near the dotted line. 
Sheridan then pops it behind him and he gets the point. When first starting the game of handball though, isn't it a little bit intimidating Six, to be that seven. close up to the wall? It is, but. I mean, these guys wall. aren't rookies, I'm not saying yeah. that, but is that the first it, strategy? It, it is, it is, a, you know, your first strategy is just to hit the ball to the front wall. Then you start learning a little bit about strategy Second and third. try to hit it where they're not standing. And then you start positioning yourself and learning how to become offensive with your defensive feet. See, it was a terrible shot from Chris because that allows Tom to now do something. Mm -hmm. And he forced a little bit of, of action by putting a little bit more power on that. He hit it right at Chris's feet with a little bit of hop. Seven plays, seven. And now we're all together at seven. Side out. See, it took an amazing shot from Chris, even though Tom was in the front court, but it took an amazing shot from Chris to get back into the service box. We're going to look at this replay by Tucson rolling shutters. Seven all. Using and the two balls. Yeah, it cuts the ball's speed in half with every wall it hits. You'll never see that sort Side of thing out. ever. Chris did not think that was going to hit the back wall, and then it obviously didn't think it was going to go that far up. Chris has to dive for a ball that hit the back wall. I've not seen that before, I don't think. You see there's glass on the back wall, but there's also a little trim of, of metal where the door frame is. And that ball hits that and just shoots back to the front wall. Chris is expecting it to die doesn't do it. You're watching the Players' Championship. This is the men's quarterfinals of the 40-plus. The young guns are coming up. Also, some of the women pros early this morning as we get ready for some of the main matches with the uh, the guys that are chasing the bonus money. We'll get those guys on as well. But it's going to be an exciting day today. I mean, if we're still smiling at this time 12 <laughs> hours from right. now, then we there's, will a, be. there's we will a problem. Be. I think we can make it happen. I want to thank ESPN, the okay, worldwide Tom leader serving. in sports, and the Watch ESPN app seven. for cranking this one open for us here at the Sports Mall in Salt Lake City, Utah. Point. This is exactly what I think the doctor ordered. They, I would have told you that Eight. this is going to be a 25-23 type score. Right now it hasn't let us down. The winner of this match, what time do they have Side to out. recoup by? It's going to be about four hours, five hours. So I'll be back into it. Seven is that when you somewhat curse that this is the quarterfinals and you know that you have to beat one of your toughest opponents and then come back perhaps yeah. four hours later? Point. Yeah, but these are one game matches to 25. Now the younger guys are doing the, the best two out of three, so they have maybe a little bit more court time. Mm -hmm. Watch this setup here from Chris Watkins. That's just eight an automatic shot there in the corner. We're all together at eight. Short. Much like football, there was a halftime at 15. Second serve. He who gets to 15 first forces an automatic three-minute TV timeout. Point. And... He who started the match serving, which I believe was Sheridan, will then be returning the serve after halftime. Nine plays eight. Now we also have cheerleaders. And uh, Janet Jackson will be performing. Oh, wow. With or without Check Justin? Ball. Well, the question is with or without <laughs> wardrobe <laughs> exactly. malfunctions. But no, it's Nine uh, plays eight. Don't know where we got that idea of halftime and TV timeouts, but. She just isn't based here in Salt serve. Lake. Wasn't an easy get. Right. <laughs> Point. That's the part where the ball is really dark in those corners. And uh, Sheridan's asking for this ball, I believe. He wants to see if it's broken. Check ball. See, a player can't purposely break a ball. So he's, he can't go over there and All purposely right. break it in half. And plays eight. It has to be inspected by the referee. When did you break your first ball? 
18. And I always remember this because it's ridiculous and it should never Sell. happen because it would never happen when I was older. But I lived in a town that didn't have racquetball or handball courts. And I was introduced to the game, you know, maybe five years earlier. So I'm about 18. I'm in high school. And there was a, a town that had Eight a court about 10. 30 miles away. And we brought some buddies over to, to play handball. And so we went in the court and I said, you know, I, I played this over the summer. And I'm 18, and I, I said, watch, I can break one of these balls. And I just threw it and hit it off the front wall. And I said, watch. And everyone, you know, sat there, and it was like three shots, broke it. Like I was, you know, I want to show you I can break yeah, this ball. Yeah, a magic you know? trick. Yeah, haven't ever done it since. I'm thinking, what in the world was going through my mind at 18? How could I do that at 18? Can't do it at, I'm actually, you know, touring and having a ranking next to my name on the tour, and I can't even break one. It's crazy. I would think that'd be kind Tom, of, it's that not ball? allowed, but a good satisfying feeling of you broke the ball. But that, that's strong. Out. Time out, that's your first. Get a minute. So I've always thought about that here now at 44 years of age, I thought, you, know, is you, you can get a bad batch of handballs and break them fairly easy. But I thought, how in the world did I s actually say I was going to do it? And it took me three shots to get it at 18. And I, maybe it was just the, you What know. did you do after that? I'm hoping you like played off of that luck that day. No, I just thought it was. I thought that you can just do that. Yeah. You know. Oh, it's so like, you oh, just yeah. played that? Yeah, I can. Yeah, do no, that. no. I, well, I told him I was going to, and I went and did it, and I thought, well, yeah, because you know I hit the ball hard. I can do that. <laughs> Never, that I could ever recall, because you know you're always in there in the in the match playing with somebody that's also doing the same thing, so you're, they're hitting the ball, so you can kind of not say it was you that did it, because yeah, you know it could have broke on the previous shot. You don't yeah. know. So this is the one time I actually went in there and tried to do it, and it worked, and. I, Tried to do it since, and it doesn't necessarily work. Today. We will get you out there today. Well. With your weak arm. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not going to work then today. <laughs> it's a one-game match, one match at 25, and you're sitting right in the middle of one of these 60-second timeouts. Kind of a weird uh, ending to that last rally as the referee said, did you get that ball? Because Tom right, let's play ball, Sheridan gentlemen. looked like he got that ball back to the front wall, but it, I guess it just didn't make it to the front wall, although the camera showed that it did, and walk into serving. right in the middle of my breaking the ball story. Ten. I think I broke the ball quicker than that story took to tell. <laughs> Ten serves eight. See, that's a hop serve, natural hook to the left. That's what I admire about these, these old dudes. And there's a beautiful back wall shot there from Watkins, now 11 to 8. But the old guys, they w are not afraid to serve everything that's in their arsenal. You know, they've got a quiver, 11, and they can eight. pull that arrow out at any time. And you go, wow, I respect that. Chris has used literally 11 different serves so far here on 11 points because he's trying to find something that he can put Tom in a bad position with. Point. And they have the experience. They've played enough to have that many shots. I talked to some of the younger guys. They say, oh, I can't switch when I'm, you know, it's 14 to 15 in the, you know, or 14 to 13, well, 15 in eight. the breaker. I'm not going to switch my from my serve. And these guys are like, yeah, I'll, I'll serve left-handed. You yeah. know, yeah. whatever they feel comfortable with. Hold it, replay. And how much time do you think Twelve serves these eight. two and opponents like them are spending in the court? Like in a on a practice. daily basis, oh. yeah. Side out. I, I think it's about three times a week, six hours total at this age. Mm -hmm. I think the young guys are, some of them are six hours a day. But the older dudes are, it's all really in their brain. Eight, there's 12. Mm -hmm. Literally, they've played so much handball Point. that they can do it with the their eyes shut. And I don't mean that to be funny. I, I think it just is all about conditioning. Nine serves 12. Not necessarily the shots. Point. This high altitude, 4,337 feet above sea level here at the Sports Mall in Ten serves 12. Murray, Utah, Salt Lake City. Oh, nice get. Mm -hmm. This is a very large gym. You can definitely get lost in here. Yeah. 
This is quite the facility here. I got lost in the sports ball, the sports uh, bar that they have adjacent <laughs> to. The I got lost in After some chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> with some chicken wings and. 11 or 12. What I was trying to figure out yesterday is you see on the left hand side, beyond the glass, those those machines. I don't know what those do. I've Someone actually thought out. maybe they go on the street. Time know, out. Like this. <laughs> That's your first, Chris. You got a minute. Yeah, it's like Step one of those. Those hovercraft machines. I don't know what they are either. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I, I've I actually stood never on one. I tried to turn it on. It didn't turn on for me. It's one of those things where if you you actually might break out in a sweat trying to figure out how to make it work. Exactly. That might be the purpose of it. You're watching the race for eight on the senior level. These are the 40 plus seniors on tour. There's that oh, there it is. machine. Now, I guess you put this. What we is the strap? Watkins trying it. But You're going to strap yourself into this thing and it doesn't even I move. No, I'm just glad we showed it because if you don't, if you didn't see how big it is actually on the side of the glass, it kind of looked like a big toilet. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Not from this view. So I'm glad Chris gave us this view. But I don't know. We will have to get it on it later. But Someone needs to tweet and let us know on Twitter what that is and how you use it. That's that. WPH live. There's our referee, Mondo Ortiz. All right, gentlemen, play ball. Senior race for eight tour men's quarterfinals. There's cobwebs growing on that ball there. Mm -hmm. As Chris Watkins, Watkins and serving. Tom Sheridan are going up against each other here. Twelve serves eleven. Now we've seen a couple of these matches go plays 11. really long because they're so equally paired against each other. Crack. Um. See, the referee doesn't know whether or not to call this a bad really bounce. Uh, yeah, let's put a replay. It's replay, Chris. It's not really the rule, but I, I kind of sense that, you know, and if it were me refing, sometimes the referee just gets to make, a right, to override a kind of a rule decision. 11. The rule is you play all bad bounces unless, unless the referee calls a stoppage. This is a player stopping and telling the referee I stopped because it was, you know, so it's the opposite of the rule, but the referee said, yeah, you know, I don't think you're going to be making Side that mistake out. back there unless it really did do it. And even though I didn't see it, I'm going to believe you. Look at this shot. It's a gentleman's sport, though, so how much of Wet that floor. do you also have to respect a little bit? Uh, Chris really wanted to leave his feet. This is where you wish you were 28. Yeah, no, I agree with you on that, too. You wish you were 28, but you know the consequences of going with it and seeing what happens from there. I think Chris felt it here. Watch this here. He, f um, he jumps. Yeah. And now he's thinking about this next shot, Chris is. He's thinking about diving in for this one, too. He knows that he would have left his feet earlier in his career, but he's not necessarily going to do it twice in a row like that. Their first match of the day, you know, he could just be getting warmed up, too, and getting his feet underneath them. And All right, let's play ball. 11 serves 13. One of those people that needs this much time to Short ball. get going in a way. Second serve. I don't see myself leaping for two balls in a row. No. Four. Point. Talk about some of these other uh, seniors who are in the tournament. Because we have well quite a few. 13. Yeah, we're, we're really lucky. In fact, it's one of the best draws we've seen for the 40-plus guys, some even in the 50s. Mm -hmm. We have John Bike and Dan Armijo Point. playing in about 15 minutes or so on a side court. Dan Armijo, legendary 50-plus player, also 50 world champion. Dan, you know, is battled over the years to try to defeat John Bike, and it wasn't until recently that he just be, was able to even do it. And John, now at 49, 50 himself, is a legend. One of the greatest Side players out. to ever play the game. It transcends the sport in a lot of ways. And he is 
you know, remarkable, multiple national champion. In fact, of the players in this tournament, he's the only Hall of Fame member in this tournament. 13 so he's, all. He's in the bracket as well. And then you've got Dan Zimmett and Marco Chavez, Andy Shad and Gary Scoggin. And these guys are solid players. And you said it earlier, they could actually qualify. And Tom Sheridan on the court here has, so did Marco Chavez in this tournament. We had two of these 40-year-olds actually in the, the regular top 16. Sheridan's actually going to get a ranking after this tournament, something he couldn't do back in his 20s on the old Pro Tour, now did it at the age of 46. There's a beautiful re-kill from Chris Watkins. And this is halftime point, as we say. And then we're going to take a quick break if Chris were to score this. The three-minute mandatory TV timeout. Is this the Janet Jackson one? Or? Yeah, no, no. That's a <laughs> <laughs> And there it is. We're going to take a break. That's halftime. Give us three minutes, and we'll be back here at the Sports Mall in Murray, Utah, for the WPH Race for Eight, the senior quarterfinals in just a bit at raceforeight.com and ESPN, the Watch ESPN app. Stick with us. Get a remarkable clean with non-toxic and biodegradable Simple Green All-Purpose Cleaner. Safe for all washable surfaces, Simple Green can be used indoors and out. Keep your home and our world clean with Simple Green. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Edel is the full brand. We make everything. We're a brand. We represent handball athletes. We represent the sport of handball um, in our attitude, in our, in our imagery, in uh, what we say and how we communicate. This is what I love about handball. It's hyper-athletic. It's combative. You know, it's just one man versus another and their body and their mind versus another body and mind. It's the battle. I mean, I love the battle. To play handball, you have to have a ton of heart. You know, you have to have a will to win. Extraordinary athleticism, so that's why I love the game. One of the things that really sets us apart is our desire, number one, to grow the sport of handball and attract new players to the sport. We believe that with the right brand, partnered with the right pros, these guys are incredible athletes and their team medal, and, and together we're promoting the sport of handball. Our number one mission is to grow the sport. Our number two mission, but is just as important, is to make premium handball equipment that improves the performance of handball athletes. The WPH is putting handball on the map on an international and national level, showcasing the pros the way that we want to showcase the pros. When people see pro handball athletes in action, they're going to want to play this sport. Really? Buzz, what's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just and there was a. I had just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point. There's smoke. Key. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Get a remarkable clean with non-toxic and biodegradable Simple Green All-Purpose Cleaner. Safe for all washable surfaces, Simple Green can be used indoors and out. Keep your home and our world clean with Simple Green. Back in Salt Lake City at the Sports Mall, my name is Dave Vincent with Kara Mack. It's Chris Watkins after halftime here in the men's 40 plus against Chris will be serving Tom 15, Sheridan. Serves 13. Score is 15 to 13. Win by two, one game to 25. Coming up next Point. will be Dan Zimmett and Marco Chavez. Sixteen, serves thirteen.
you would say that Chris is a little bit more fresh than Sheridan here because Tom has already played a couple rounds of qualifying matches and round of 16 with the men. The same will be said for Marco Chavez, Side who out. will be coming up next. Thirteen serves sixteen. Short ball. Second serve. You're watching ESPN and the Watch ESPN app on this Saturday morning, and there's a fist side pump out. from Watkins who gets a side out, and he's back into the box at 16 to 13. Sixteen serves thirteen. Point. Here's a replay. Seventeen serves thirteen. Of that fist pump from Chris Watkins. You're going to see a lot of that here late from both of these players. Side out. Nice little underhand paddle fist from Sheridan who gets back into the box. 13 serves, 17. These one game matches to 25 are completely different than the best two out of three. Second serve. It's almost the comparison of a sprinter towards somebody who's a long distance marathon type runner. And that's a nice little flip back to the front wall from Watkins who I thought would left his, leave his feet if he had to there. Didn't do it. And another point now for Sheridan on replay. Sheridan comes up here. Watch what he does to close this out. Hits a real wide pass. Sensing 14, sir, Watkins coming in close. Short ball. Second serve. Point. There's another point now for Sheridan. 15 serves 17. Short ball. Second serve. Point. Welcome, Kara. 16, sir, 17. Kara Mack had to go and try to figure out where that Janet Jackson <laughs> posse. She's not here. <laughs> she is not here. Let us down during halftime. This is the senior race rate. There's an 15. S in front of that R48 Pro. What did I miss while I was gone looking for Janet and Posse? Uh, <laughs> six points. Three play. There's a little bit of contact as these players sweep through each other there. Watkins had that lead at, lead at halftime, 15 to 13, so you can see it was just. 17 play, 16. Two to three. Five points total. Couple redos, couple replays. What they're doing here is trying to find a way to get their opponent in the backcourt, stay Point. in the backcourt, and then you saw Watkins put a little pressure on it, say, I'm gonna, I don't want to play this game forever, so I'm going to hit it down a wall and make it so it's going to be difficult for you to see. 16. And what did, what did Sheridan do? He really didn't see it very well. Mm -hmm. And Watkins got the point. Point. And now that's just a great serve in a black hole back wall. And now 19, 19 16. to 16 on the scoreboard for Watkins. And you can see just how quick you can score a couple points here. Look at that. And there's another one. It should be a timeout called. These old guys are pretty smart with these timeouts. They'll try to break momentum instead of taking a breath. I'm surprised Sheridan didn't ask for it. But then 20 plays 16. we'll see. 20 to 16 here. Short ball. 
These matches are designed to go 45 minutes. It's been exactly 42 and a half, and we're five points away from finding a victor. As Jim Carrey said, like a glove. Could be more than five points. Though. I know, it, or five nine. minutes, yeah. yeah. Could go overtime. Sixteen plays twenty. What has the response been from the older guys who are now being able to be featured on ESPN and have so much more of this spread to where when they started out 20 years ago? Well, there's, there's two thoughts on that. One is the response is look at the draw. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably one of the most talented ones you'll ever see or ever hear of 40 year olds combining into one bracket. This is pretty big. So that's the first response. Second one is you find out later when one of these players don't get featured on TV and then you start hearing rumblings from their camp maybe two or three months later so where it's like, oh, well, you didn't put me on, so you know I didn't come to your next tournament. So you're, they're punishing you back, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. So you find out Second that it is third. important. You don't realize how much it is until it, it's time has gone by. So we're trying to spread the wealth a little bit, make it a little bit more, you know, show, feature new players as opposed to the same, you know, stars. Might give us a little bit better match the stars, but... Point. You're going to see a little bit more variety when it comes to the, just the women and the and the seniors themselves. Now, the, the elite guys are, are there for a reason because they are elite, and there's a lot more of them. Look at that shot there from Sheridan. The next match is a good example. Dan Zimmett will be on ESPN. He's a multiple national champion, never been on TV, and it's not that we're throwing him a you know little cherry here, but it's let, let's feature a guy oh, yeah, that's oh, been oh, a top oh, oh, oh. player for a long time, and no one's ever seen him before. Mm -hmm. Not on a broadcast, not on TV, not, you know, in this neck of the woods, certainly. Hey, Tom, you did not move out of the shot whatsoever. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> that was an avoidable. An Referee you calls it an avoidable, and, sh and Tom you thinks that that out. isn't an avoidable. avoidable. Uh-oh. Now it's going to be maybe even a technical for coming out of the court. Here's the replay, and you'll see what the referee's saying Let's here. Let's replay he this. Uh-oh, now he took away the. Let's replay it. Now, if you were going to draw it up and make a video presentation of what an avoidable hinder looks like, that was it. But, you know, the Irish come out with that real cool accent. All right, let's exactly. play it. Americans it love anything. it. You know, we love Absolutely. it. And the referee just said, yeah, let's replay it. That's not going to be an avoidable. Thomas accent you can get away with anything. Chris. Look at Simon Cowell on American Idol. If, if an American had said any of those things, yeah. he, come off as very, he already came off as rude, but still enjoyable. 18 plays well, 20. Still listen yeah, to when it. Harry does it, you kind of kind of hate him. Mm -hmm. But when Simon does it, it's okay. Chris has got a little bit of residue from that call here because Chris would have been in the server's box. He finds himself returning the serve on a big back wall setup. Ah, uh, those Americans love the British. Now, if Tom heard me say that I called him British. He would not be happy about that. I should say the British sounding voices. I was telling um, some people the difference between indoor Side and outdoor out. handball and the experience when That's they the put the two together. Out. And it's interesting going from the inside courts where, you know, there's still a lot of cheering 18. and people talking to the players or you know, yelling at them. But when it's in Irish accents or something, does it come different. off the same as when you're outside and you got the different crowd yelling, heckling? You see, just saw Chris, who goes by the name Waddy. Waddy dog, walk by the booth, and in the old days we would have just took the headsets off and said, "What? Why? What happened to that call?" Just to get, you know, maybe something. But we're more professional these days. <laughs> but I still I do want to know <laughs> what happened with that call. Good morning. Mm. So our replay just really didn't take us back far enough, I guess, to see. And I, really what happened was Tom was arguing the fact that 
the shot prior to that, Chris crossed in front of him. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that led to the referee saying, okay, it was an avoidable hinder, but let's see, this would, it was an avoidable, but maybe not so much. Here's that shot. Watch this, right down the barrel. And it just clips that side wall. And if you don't think that these guys are aiming for that little 20, clip, 18. don't underestimate. 20 to 18 here, going to 25. Chris Watkins plays back home with John Robles, who is not in this bracket, but very well could be. And John is a lefty just like Sheridan. Very similar type style of game. Fiery, both lightning when they have their best stuff going. It's a nice, good shot to pass. So you would say that Chris knows a lot about these strong lefties. He also plays with John Bike Point. out of the same club, and John's a lefty. Side out. Chris saying he just didn't see that because Tom was in the way. Referee didn't give it to him. So Chris Watkins back home. There's one court complex that Naughty Jr., John Bike, John Robles, and himself all play out of. 18 place one. And Naughty Sr. Pretty remarkable. Is this the home club for anyone here this weekend? Gary Scoggin on a side court right now in the same division in the same bracket, the same position of that bracket. None of the young guys? There wasn't a qualifier, but he didn't qualify. But no. That's going to be replayed. No, ball passed you. I don't think you would have got that. Wow, that's, that might be the worst call I've seen in my life, but. Not only was there contact, but it came off the back wall, and Sheridan almost gets it there. Mm -hmm. So not being held up like that, he could have easily got his hand underneath it. Two and gloves. Gloves, 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 gloves. the referee's kind of letting gloves, this gloves. one go yeah, just a little bit. Gloves, Chris. All right, we're glove at, right at that 45-minute mark, and now the old guys, after you know who, open their mouth. Exactly. I was I, just thinking that, but I'm glad you, you said it first. I announced her <laughs> curse this thing into taking longer than it should. You're watching the race for eight. Let's look at this replay here. Now this is an example. There's hinder, contact, and the ball hits the ground right there. And the referee said, simply, you couldn't reach it. And then you heard Chris Watkins walk by, mm -hmm. who's wearing the red shirt. Yeah. All he said was make up call. Meaning oh, I didn't see him say that. So th what he's saying is, yeah, he, they messed up that first one, but he gave it back to me on that one. So, Chris knows. That's Martina McMahon, who will be on the court here at 9.30 local time. As she is our kind of rising star in the women's handball circles. Mm -hmm. She started off the season in U.S. Open where she lost to Ashley Moeller in the round of 16 in the women's bracket and then went to New York and made third place. And uh, you remember her from New York. She's Absolutely. Uh, quite impressive from Ireland. She'll mm -hmm. be playing our current number two, Jessica Gulley. Jessica from Canada. She's excited to do the tour too and be able to travel. And Many more Irish girls coming over. And it's, it's neat too to see because as we saw in New York, Katrina Casey getting some competition there too. Yeah, interesting complex right now with, I would say it's a, it's a mixture of, there's Katrina, it's a mixture of ESPN and filming and the state of handball getting the publicity that it deserves, but also kind of a avalanche, a steam rolling sort of effect. When one great player enters, you say, well, I want to go because I want to play them. You mm -hmm. would think that some of these these players are trying to stay away from good competition. It's the other way around. I've beaten everybody except them. I hope I get to play them in this tournament. They'll, they'll fly in and play. So then you, all of a sudden you start seeing these big names show up like, whoa, he's going to go? Well, I better go because yeah. I don't want him winning this title because I'm the one that's supposed to win these titles. And then it just becomes 
kind of this really cool effect. So you have that mixed in, and it just makes the environment great. And then the community here right, in Salt Lake is amazing anyway. 20 serves 18. It's beautiful here. Getting the sunshine, too, and see it all. Started off with a, a blizzard a couple days ago where we were, had a complete whiteout here. And now it's this beautiful sun. That's frustrating. Tom was in control of that rally and then made a hand error. 21 serves 18. Chris Watkins serving the ball in the gray shirt. Kind of a strange right down the middle of the court serve and that would have been another quick point for Watkins and he even had Sheridan pinned. Mm -hmm. Could have done anything he wanted. Makeup hit right there. Yeah. 18 <laughs> serves 21. Sheridan's not going away here. Short ball. Second serve. Oh, look at that Point. serve. That's just so amazing. And he's got Chris fooled a couple times on that. If we had a racket, we couldn't get that ball off the back wall. He hits that side wall and scrapes straight out. It's 21. just really unbelievable serve. Oh, that's a nice shot from Sheridan again. Point. Have no clue where that ball went. He hit it either one inch high or to the ceiling. I, had, I couldn't see it from that angle, but the result was a point, so it must have been a flat rollout somewhere. Did you see it? Mm -mm. That big 20, Irish whip so 21. is deceiving. 20 to 21. Point. Does Chris have any, have any timeouts left? I think he has one left. Yeah, see, Chris completely lost that in the glass. He was going to look around like he felt 21. it was a hinder from Tom, but really it wasn't. Chris just couldn't see it. I love that shot. Replay. He had to stop. He hesitated before he hit the shot in his replay. Our referee is replay. currently ranked fifth on the Pro Tour, by the way. I believe this is right. a replay because 21, if sir, 21. Chris were able to dive, he would have got a hand on it. But Short ball. Second serve. You know there was wood behind you that you just could have knocked on. Or that comment about this ending perfectly. <laughs> Check it. It's right here. I knew it when right I there. said it that I should have <laughs> said, you know, well, you know, it's we're at 20 and we only have, you know, eight minutes to go and this will be over with. It worked out exactly perfect the way we wanted it. And that was one more point has been scored from mm -hmm. Watkins at that moment. And that was 15 minutes ago. He's Thank you. After you by 21 off. He will come after you if he replays this entire. I'm going to come after <laughs> myself. I'm going to beat him to it. There was contact. Now Chris is raising his hands, and this play is going to continue on here. And then it's going to be a Side little out. amnesia there for Chris. I raised my hands for no reason. Side out, 21 21. This is all. Now you hear the referee. 21 all. Giving us some side commentary. Oh, look at that. I thought the ball side was short, out. no call. <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. So see the replay of the hand slap at the end. I thought that ball was short. And nobody said anything. 21 all. If it goes That's further, it, but she doesn't. Now we're all tied short at 21. Ball. Oh, Sheridan, what he said was, I guess. He pointed at his finger and said, I Second tipped serve. it off the top of my finger, and then oh. Chris smacked his hand. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Wow, nice Point. shot there from Sheridan. Now has the lead at 22 to 21. You said don't count him out. I think I said a lot of things, and if <laughs> you, you throw enough, if something's going to stick. 
something you were right about <laughs> something. That's that's what's key. If you say ten thousand things, one of them might come true. And that one is coming true. Twenty-two, 22 to 21. twenty-one. Going to twenty-five. Men's quarters. Yep, I know. Short ball. Oh, that was good I've actually. Seen it short. I saw that good. Second that serve. Good too. Yeah, now Sheridan's a little long on his estimate, but it was two or three inches good. Second serve. Oh my gosh. Side out. That was with a fist. Crazy little defensive. I'm just gonna stick a fist out and then it rolls out 20, in the right corner. One serves 22. Screen. These are tough matches to play because when you're done after one of these, you Second serve. you're pretty much done for the tournament. Mm -hmm. And they still have a couple more rounds to go, win or lose. Oh, I mean, you got two serves. Excuse me. Two serves coming. Also, as a player, you don't want to have to tell the ref how to ref or how to get their cadence right, because you expect them to get the basics down. And it does frustrate you. See, I'm not here to teach, even though Chris Watkins is a school teacher, I'm not here to teach the referee how to ref. What does he teach? You know what Chris teaches? There's high school back in Hesperia. I'm not sure the subject, but. Think any of his students are watching? Yeah. He shared his. Yeah, of course. 21 serves 22. He's also a real estate investor and has some homes here in Salt Lake, so he had to go kick out an attendant yesterday. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he made this a. Side out. This is a, this is a work related mm -hmm. trip in more ways than one. Yep. You can write it off. There you go. 22 serves 21. There's that crack. Point. And now 23 to 21 with Sheridan just two points away from taking down Watkins. Time and there's out. a timeout from Chris Watkins, who was really in control of the whole match, even though nothing was more than a three or four point lead. Mm -hmm. And now. Here it is, Sheridan at 23, striking distance. And I looked around and I couldn't, oh, there's the wood there. Striking distance, yes. knocked on that. I don't think it's real wood, but it'll do. Don't yeah, well, <laughs> lamination <laughs> works. As uh, we are here with Kara Mack in Salt Lake City, Utah. My name is Dave Vincent, Kara. Uh, this is a beautiful facility. A and and the, the events have become just more exposed and more big time. What are your thoughts just as you come in here and? And I know that your job, you're the sideline reporter. Mm -hmm. but we have you here, and you know, you're know you gathering information and talking to the players. What are your thoughts so far on, on Salt Lake? This is your first time here? This is my first time here, and this is a great facility. I'm yeah. really excited because in the end, especially, we have tons of people show up to watch. And I was surprised just walking in yesterday, and the stands were filled. And a lot of places that we go, we're crunched in. I'm working just to squeeze through yeah. people. And there's a great area to watch from so i'm excited to be out there in the gallery yeah, it's actually fun this gallery this yeah. uh, the, it's really infectious here and it's the first time we've taken the big banner on that side wall which you can look over right now and see that there's a side wall that exposes that that glass over here on the left of our screen we see it that used to have a big white banner and it closed everybody out from this angle now you're seeing uh, play players and fans over here watching from the side mm -hmm. which is has now become kind of the cool hangout area it is. Saw, uh, Luis Moreno giving out an autograph to a young kid over there oh, on the neat. side yesterday so it, um, but it has ball. a different vibe and energy this year and not only down below but up above it, all the way around Second the court center. up above there's the balcony area which they have weights and such for the gym but there's people who are hanging over the top you don't quite see it there but last Point. night you can see up above there are people hanging over watching from up there as well so yeah it's kind of a neat neat vibe 24 to 21 this is match point now for tom sheridan in the men's quarterfinals as he tries to advance and go into the semifinals. match point sir 21. these players all talk about the love of travel and how much they like being part of the tour because they like to tra travel and go to different places and when you're going to new york and to san francisco and other big cities it's it's um 
it's a lot of fun. And it's places that you'd like to say that you've been and experienced certain yeah. things. But then coming to places, not saying Salt Lake small, but it's a beautiful place. And it's not somewhere that necessarily is a, the draw as a New York would be to go. But it's really neat to have the opportunity to come and Short to ball. visit. Short ball. Yeah, you, you don't think it's the draw until yeah. you come here and go, oh, wait a second. I second might come serve. back to Salt Lake for vacation. Yeah. There's something about this place I love. And I was telling people, you know, I've only been to the airport in a layover, but you walk out even in the airport and you realize Side what a out. gorgeous area it is because it's all glass and yeah. you can see the mountains. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Love it here in Salt Lake City. Always have. And they love when we bring match the pros. Match point serves 21. Here it is, match point, 24-21. Short ball. I thought that was a foot fault. Second serve. As this 45-minute match is now one hour long. This could be it. When Tom out shooting Chris now, what was he down? 2017? Wow, look at that wow. shot right there from Tom Sheridan, and he advances volley, after guys. he gets down on Smash. one knee and smacks that ball to the front wall. Look at this instant yeah. replay. Watkins hits a pretty darn good shot, but it's right in it front of, of Sheridan, who dives down. Watkins decided to give it his all, and there it is. It's Tom Sheridan advancing to the semifinals of the men's 40 plus here in Salt Lake City, Utah on the WPH Race for Eight Tour on ESPN. We have another great match coming up right around the corner. Dan Zimmett, Marco Chavez will be coming up next as we bring you another 40 plus match and then we make our way into the women's elite with Martina McMahon and Jessica Gulley. Could be the match of the year. That's gonna be two strong lefties, the 40 year old and the, the 22 year old that's gonna be a lot of fun so we're gonna maybe 19 years old I might have just added a couple of, I know how 19. you women are about age you just can't get it wrong like that we'll have more coming up for Kara Mack my name is Dave Vincent thanks for tuning in on ESPN and the watch ESPN app from Salt Lake City we'll be back in just a bit stick with us This broadcast of the Players' Championship is brought to you by R&A CPAs, Accounting, Audit, Domestic, and International Tax Services, by the Sports Mall, by Dewey's Bail Bonds, and by Edel Handball. Get the new machine washable pro glove at www.edelhandball.com.